Thursday, October 24th, 2024. We're in the lobby of the Route 128 Amtrak station. A far cry from the little shanty that was here in New Haven and Penn Central and early Amtrak days. All right, at 8.25 a.m. approaching his Amtrak train 171 en route from Boston for a long journey down to Roanoke, Virginia. Coming into Route 128. to Boston, train 866 out of Stoughton. I'll take this to Back Bay Station. Asphyxiation. Huh. And we're at Back Bay on the Orange Line. Here comes one of their CRRC subway trains. dominate the orange line now. assembly on the orange line and this train has been going through track work long as AA2 horn and we're right alongside the Haverhill Reading commuter rail line let's get a couple of trains here There's a Forest Hills bound train. Yeah, there are delays with this track work here between uh, Sullivan Square and here. They're backed up coming up from Forest Hills and downtown. 
comes an Oak Grove train. You can hear him tapping his AA2 horn. You can see the new John Hancock Tower towering over the skyline at Back Bay. Love those AA2 horns. That commuter rail train in the background was 206 from Bradford Haverhill to North Station with uh, on the rear. From Assembly Station, you can see the Newburyport Rockport line. That's train 191 bound for Beverly, crossing over the Mystic River with a cheap 40 MC. There's another Oak Grove bound train tapping his AA2 as he comes in through the work zone. Shortly, we should be seeing MBTA commuter rail train 205 from North Station to Bradford. Apparently, there's some work going on between Bradford and Haverhill. Well, at 948, here comes train 205 for Bradford with a nice F40 PH-3C. You'll see a lot of old power on the north side. station to Wellington. this up to mold and this is not a great place to shoot. Well we moved up to Malden Center. We get some great light and great color here as a Boston bound train approaches as Oak Grove train departs. to the subway platform. Over there you have the platform for the commuter rail used by trains between Boston and Reading and 
Haverhill area. Another Oak Grove train is approaching. He may be held here also. That track work has caused a backlog of trains. trains are taking numbers waiting for platform space to become available at Oak Grove which is the next and last stop. Here comes an outbound down for Boston and Forest Hills and approaching is train 286 from Reading to Boston. standing on the commuter rail platform where I have much better lighting all the way around. Here comes a train for Oak Grove. Forest Hills train with some shrink wrapping. and service train as you can hear the modem and tapping the AA2 horn.
Looks like the backlog is eased as this Oak Grove train departs. cool-looking subway cars, inside and out. Very cheerful cars on the inside. Bright colors. Approaching at 1038 is train 287 and route from Boston to Reading. Right up the road a little ways with another one of those beautiful F40s. That was something I wasn't expecting. A down Easter train, Amtrak. Well, approaching at 11.02 is train 280, excuse me, 208, and route from Haverhill Bradford to North Station. train of bi-levels. I don't think I've ever seen that on the north side, unless I just missed a few. Shoved by... <laughs> with the GP40 MC shoving was 192 from Beverly and the outbound with the goofy grape on it was 207 bound for Bradford and Haverhill. This version of the Sullivan Square station on the Orange Line was built in 1975. 
it replaced the old sullivan square station on the elevated structure which was once part of the boston elevated railway that used to go all the way out to everett i rode on that back in 1970. we got a forest hills bound train leaving sullivan square here for a bit and get a couple of more MBTA commuter rail trains here. All right, 11.42 a.m. This is train 149 bound for Newburyport. It's a nice, beautiful F40. train 210 from Bradford at 12:37 
all of the trains have old General Motors power on them. Time is 12.40. There goes train 209 for Bradford. It's right across the Merrimack River from Haverhill. is still a busy place. You got trains going out to Wachusett, up to Lowell, up to Reading, up to Haverhill, up to Newburyport, up to Rockport. Years ago you used to have long distance trains going everywhere on the compass on the old Boston and Maine Railroad. Montreal, Albany, Portland via two different main lines, Portsmouth, etc, etc. They used to run snow trains up to North Conway, New Hampshire from here. The Massachusetts Bay Railroad Enthusiast Group. That's where I am now. Hang around a few places along the uh, Rockport Newburyport line. As this is the busiest diesel line out of North Station. Next stop will be Witchtown, USA, Salem, Massachusetts. I noticed he had a single level cab car in the consist. Oh, here comes 154, a little late. Newburyport to Boston at 139. Swampscott, Massachusetts. Swampscott was the boyhood home of Red Sox star Tony Canigliaro. Very talented player. He was like a rock star in Boston. He could hit, he could field. If he hadn't gotten hurt in 1967, who knows? The Red Sox might have won the World Series. Same as if Jim Rice didn't get hurt in 75. They might have won that World Series. Approaching at 2 o'clock is train 111 from North Station to Rockport.
Well, we're going to have a meet here at 2.30. This is 114, Rockport to North Station. There's 197 and route right from Boston to Beverly is coming in. Boston end of the station is the old switch tower used to control the switch here where it goes down a single track underneath the tunnel underneath downtown Salem well, here we are in downtown Salem Massachusetts witch town USA the famous witchcraft trials took place here back in 1692 to 1693 big Halloween destination I've seen lots of people walking the streets wearing witch hats this place is jumping. Wow. The Daniel Lowen Company building is in the foreground. Yeah, this place is awesome. Nice pedestrian mall. First time I've ever been here. There's a town hall. They have tarot readings. If you're into witchcraft and all kinds of tarot cards and any other thing that's scary in the universe, this is the place to be around now. <laughs> like getting face painted, you gotta get those fangs. I haven't got time to visit these places, but it's just you know, astounding just to see it. This is kind of an introductory visit. First ever visit to this town. It's beautiful. Scary, but beautiful. <laughs> Bewitched in Salem, Witch and Fairy Emporium. It's not even Halloween yet. I bet you wouldn't be able to move a muscle on this street on Halloween. Oh, man. Oh, this was definitely worth a visit. Absolutely. really feels like Halloween here. The fall color just adds to the October effect. Beautiful. It's the Hawthorne Hotel on the corner of Essex and Hawthorne. Essex is the pedestrian mall that I've been walking down. Another beautiful day, about 68 degrees. After an interesting tour of downtown Salem. The train station isn't very far away from there. We're back at the depot and you can see a lot of people are getting on here. Train 198 from Beverly to North Station is due. 328, here he comes. The train is about to get a lot heavier.
Got an MBB car on the consist. shakes when one of those goes underneath 40 he comes 113 from boston to rockport coming out from under downtown salem massachusetts the roar of emd prime movers and training and detraining it makes for some long station stops here at Salem and here at the Salem station you get this beautiful seaside vista and at 356 approaching Salem is train 116 en route from Rockport to Boston coming off the double track to negotiate downtown Salem's tunnel
capture a bit of the rush hour here. A lot of great power in here now. 505, we got two trains leaving simultaneously. This is 331 for Lowell, 117 for Rockport hasn't moved yet. When they depart here, their departing tracks favor the routing that they take. He was leaving, the Rockport train was leaving from 4 and the Lowell off of 7. This way they can head to their respective routes without impeding each other. Alright, 510, departing is train 295 bound for Reading. minutes Amtrak 687 down Easter for Brunswick Maine will be departing. Well standing here right now and looking at all these beautiful locomotives or at least most of them <laughs> I can't help but think back to my very first visit here in the summer of 1970. This was all low platforms and all they ran back then on the Boston and Maine were RDCs. Boston and Maine loved RDCs. No locomotives at all were seen. What a change. Well, at 517 arriving is train 216 from Bradford with a Jeep 40 MC in the back.
store in Freeport. sitting in the station here and at 535 they will mercifully depart simultaneously okay there's 217 for Bradford coming at me and there's 159 for Newburyport over there is now devoid of those bar fields. All that's left are two Jeeps and an F40, including uh, Mass Dot 1136. All right, that's all that's remaining in the station right now. Oh, what a pretty picture, my God. Not even the Mona Lisa looks that good. And on the right, you see F40 PH-3C 1031 with that crumpled nose. That's the third time I've seen that today.
33 bound for Lowell on the old Boston and Maine, Boston and White River Junction Main Line. Well, at 5.55 coming in is train 330 from Lowell. And around now train 197 for Reading will be departing. Or actually 297 off of track 2. It's twilight time.